An installation of powerful lithium-ion batteries outside Buffalo, New York, can power 15,000 homes for two hours. So this is only about two and a half acres. So the facility you see behind us is actually the state's largest right now. But in the coming years, there's going to be larger facilities all across the state. New York wants to dramatically increase the number of these utility-grade lithium battery energy storage systems across the state by 2030. Similar efforts are underway nationwide. These are coming in every market across the country. It's really about meeting this growing electricity demand uh, and making sure that we can remain competitive and grow our economy. The U.S. electric grid doesn't typically store energy. Electricity is produced and consumed almost immediately. We're needing to build more grid very quickly to meet load growth. And um, that's placing a premium on how efficiently can we use the system that we have. These batteries charge using electricity from the grid during times of low demand, and they feed stored power back into the grid for immediate use during times of peak demand or power outages. The electricity comes from a variety of sources, including nuclear power, hydroelectric, natural gas, wind, and solar power. I think it would be a good thing, you know, uh, you know, especially, I mean, you know, winter, we get bad winters here, so power goes out, you know, kind of frequently, you know, but it, so it'd be good to have a good backup plan. But that would be my first concern is what about the safety of it? Is it toxic? What happens if they go bad? Earlier this year, a fire at a lithium battery facility in California, run by another company, Vistra Energy, led to evacuations and heightened scrutiny over the safety of large battery energy storage systems. However, the industry is confident these installations are safe. You look at the shipping containers behind me, there are hundreds, thousands of cells in each one of them. They are all monitored in real time. Multiple data points are being taken every second. And so if something isn't operating correctly, uh, we can remotely turn off either a small portion, an entire container, or the entire system. It really is quite safe. New York State actually just updated their fire codes to be some of the strictest in the country. So any system that's going to be coming online for those 2030 goals are going to meet those new standards. I do have a cell phone in my pocket right now, and I'm wearing another uh, battery on my wrist, and they're not blowing up. Um, but to the extent that larger storage devices could pose any kind of risk to the public, it's really important to make sure that they don't, and that we can achieve the reliability benefits, the huge societal benefits that come with increased electric reliability, and uh, in the most affordable manner. Americans are demanding more and more electricity. There's now a surge in demand from data centers, processing artificial intelligence, and cryptocurrency mining, along with electricity for transportation, heating buildings, and new manufacturing, including semiconductor factories. Reliability saves lives. Uh, Winter Storm Uri killed uh, over 200 people in Texas. Most of the deaths were attributable to widespread power outages that occurred. It was things like hypothermia, and exacerbation of underlying medical conditions that couldn't be treated during the blackouts. Texas responded by building lots of these battery energy storage systems. And today, their electric grid is at a much lower risk of a blackout. New York regulators want the same reliability.